Hey guys, I'm Jake from ClickBank, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a landing page that's specific for email traffic. So if you have a list that you wanna promote affiliate offers to, this video is for you. For this video, I'm gonna be using Accelerator. Accelerator is ClickBank's very own landing page and funnel builder, plus so many more tools, honestly, packed inside this thing. So if you're interested in learning more about it or you're looking for a landing page builder, go ahead and check out the link in the description and check out Accelerator today. But without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump straight in to creating the page. So once you're inside the tool, you can see um, the cool thing is we have all these different templates to choose from when you're creating a new landing page. Now for this one and for email traffic, I'm going to be creating an advertorial page. So if we go ahead and just click on advertorial, you'll see that our funnel pops up here and we have two main, um, I guess, icons you could call these. The first one is your actual page and then the second one is your CTA or the call to action. So we're gonna start by editing the page. Perfect, and you can see that an entire page full of um, content, images, image, pla uh, image placeholders, and then areas for you to put copy loads up and then a CTA at the bottom. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of rearrange this. Now, of course, you can use this template exactly how it is. Um, this is just a lot of, a lot of copy to write, um, and so I wanna shorten this up a little bit and kind of change some things to how I like it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this big image right here so I can just go ahead and remove this from the page. This obviously at the top here is, is gonna be where I put my headline, which is great. Um, but if I have a headline here, I don't need this um, kind of secondary headline. So I'm gonna remove this from the page as well. And then I kind of like how this looks where I have the big headline on top, I have some copy, and then we break it up with an image on the left and then another uh, kind of sub headline right here. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and delete this paragraph right here just because it's kind of a lot of copy just with no breaks. So let's remove this from the page. And then what you can see that I'm doing here is I'm basically just going headline, little bit of copy, headline, little bit of copy, headline, a little bit of copy. Um, and obviously we're gonna shorten this copy up a little bit, but um, hopefully you can get the idea from that. This image I think is in a good spot. And then I'm gonna go ahead and actually delete some of these bottom sections here. Oops, I'm gonna go ahead and click remove from page and then remove this one from page as well. All right, and now you can see I have my page pretty much where I want it to be. I just wanna edit this last section here um, and figure out how I'm gonna kind of put this and integrate it into the rest of the page. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this button and I actually wanna put that right below this image instead. So if I can just drag that, oops, I'll just drag it there for now. And then what I will do is I'll just move this up. So it's where I want it to be, perfect. And then I'm gonna actually just go ahead and get rid of this bottom section. And now you can see the last thing that it ends on is a CTA right now. So as we go ahead and build through this, um, I think the one more thing I wanna add is I'm gonna add a little line of text right below that as well. So if I come over here to edit and then go to modules and just add in a blank module, I can add that right below the call to action. Perfect, and now you can see it's added in there. So now this is really just kind of a blank area for us to add text if we wanna add text. So I'll just put in some placeholder text for now so you can see it. Now you can see this format that I have here is really kind of, um, it's condensed a lot, but it still can contain a lot of information. So I have my headline and some body paragraph, um, and then I'm gonna have an additional image here, headline, body paragraph, headline, body paragraph. I'm actually gonna break this up into some bullets as well so that it's just easier to read image and then a call to action. So I've already pre-prepared some copy and some imagery for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert that now and then we'll come back and we will chat through why I put certain copy where I put it and why I chose the images I chose. Okay, we now have all of the copy and all of the imagery inside and as you can tell, uh, this page looks a whole lot different than it did um, just a few seconds ago. And so I wanna break down exactly what it is that we're doing throughout this page. So the first thing, and at the very top is your, this is kind of your, the, the part where I would spend probably the most amount of time or what you should be most focused on is this big 
a bold headline. Now, when you're creating your headline, you really wanna do two things. The first thing is you want to make sure you're writing it for the person who would be reading this page ideally, right? So if you're promoting an offer that is talking about hearing loss and tinnitus, then you're writing a headline that would be for someone that has those problems. Um, and then in addition to that, the other thing you wanna do is you wanna drive curiosity. So if you read our headline, it says, Breakthrough Discovery, Nobel Prize Winning Way to Stop Hearing Loss in Tinnitus for Good. Now, if you were someone who saw this uh, advertorial or saw this page and you had a hearing loss in tinnitus and that was a problem for you, and that was something you lived with and you dealt with every day, you seeing a breakthrough discovery and that there's a way to stop that would be very interesting to you, right? So it's to get people to be curious enough to stop and say, I have this problem, I wanna keep reading or I wanna go through and take the next action. So that's that's why your headline is the first thing that they're gonna see, is the first thing that people are gonna see. And it's really gonna be the difference maker as to if someone is gonna stick around and read through your content or click through your content, or they're gonna pull it up on their phone or their laptop and then just leave. So it's really important that we nail this and you're really driving home those two things, curiosity and writing to the people who you want to read this. And a really simple thing to do guys, if you're struggling to figure out what kind of headline you should use or who your target audience is or who you should be writing to is on the ClickBank Marketplace, since this is a ClickBank offer that we're promoting, um, you can actually go to whatever offer you're promoting their affiliates tools page, or you can go to their actual, uh, you can click through on your hop link and look at the actual VSL that they're using. And um, almost pretty, I think always, they have a headline at the top. And so you can use that headline or you can watch the VSL to figure out what the offer is about, what kind of things they're saying, and then basically just take that and turn it into a headline. Because if they're using certain language within the first 30 seconds, one minute, five minutes of the video, they're basically on that video trying to capture people's attention. So if you take that content that they're saying in there and turn that into a headline, you can feel pretty confident that the language they're using is meant to captivate people and, and keep them there. So um, that's a little hack to use if you're struggling with your headlines. So going through the rest of this page, you can see this is just talking about tinnitus a little bit or, or ringing and buzzing. And then it's also uh, starting to hint at this new groundbreaking discovery, which we want them to go and um, find out for themselves. In the next section, you can see I'm just adding some social proof. Now, social proof is when you are basically just making people feel like there's been so many people before them that are in your in the prospect shoes right now that have solved this issue uh, thanks to this breakthrough. So you can see I say successful for 19,000 plus people experiencing ringing in their ears. Again, those stats, that uh, that line, that line of copy, I just took from the VSL. In the VSL, they say that they tried this on over 19,000 people and it was successful for them. And so I just took that and I put that in here because if someone again is reading through this and they see, hey, there's 19 other 19,000 other people who have this problem that I have right now and they've um, gotten it solved thanks to this method, that's gonna be interesting to them, right? And then underneath that, um, I have some just, I just have some supporting copy. So talking about scientists and um, what they've done to discover this, how it's worked on uh, thousands of individuals. This copy, I, we actually didn't even write a lot of this copy. We just went straight to the affiliates tools page and then looked at some of their email swipes and grabbed this and put it in here. Um, and then we go down to the end of tinnitus and ringing in your ears. So again, this is just going to drive home um, the end to the problem that they are currently facing, right? And so for them, that's tinnitus and ringing in their ears. The last thing we wanna do here on this page is we want to be driving people again to that CTA to go watch the video, to go watch the, the video that's on the sales page once they click through to your hop link. So in this bottom copy, this is where we're kind of driving it home. So you can see this is gonna be the end um, of the problem you're facing and go watch the special video training to finally break free of hearing issues and annoying ringing, discover the root cause of your tinnitus and hearing issues, eliminate mental fatigue and brain frog, <laughs> brain frog, and eliminate mental fatigue and brain fog, which is all points um, that this product that you're promoting solves. And so actually a good thing to do here is we could actually reformat this um, because you know obviously these lines right here, since these are pain points that people are feeling, we wanna highlight these a little bit. So I'll just actually um, just grab those that line of text and then just click this button, which puts them into bullets. 
So people's eyes, if they're just scrolling through this, they might be able to be more drawn to that, which is their, um, a lot of these, what you'll notice is their desired outcomes, right? They wanna break free of hearing issues in annoying ringing. So if we can draw their attention to that, that will be interesting to them. We'll also maybe come back here and we can bold this. So that again, if somebody's just scrolling, this catches their attention and then they can see their desired outcome and figure out the root cause of the issues that they're facing. What we love about this image right here with the play button is that it entices people uh, to click on it because it looks like a video play button, right? But it also sets them up for the expectation that they're about to watch a video. So obviously you would want to take your hop link and you would want to add that in here by clicking insert link. And then you would just put your hop link right there. And then we have our CTA button right below. So I might just, just formatting wise, I'll just kind of come in here and click on button settings and I'll change this call to action to the action that we want uh, people to take, which is watch the video or watch video now. And then this is where, where, we, where it says add link, this is where you would put your hop link. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually just gonna center this on the page and we can see how that looks. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, margin at the bottom, maybe just 10. And then let's see how this looks. Perfect, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And then one other thing that you can do, um, again, like the name of the game here is, obviously we wanna write content that is going to appeal to um, your target audience and is gonna capture their attention, drive that curiosity that we talked about. But we also wanna just like have things on the page that catches their attention. So if we come over back to edit and then go to modules, I'll actually add another button right above the image here and I will change the copy to um, something a little bit longer format. So I'll say, learn how to get rid of tinnitus in ringing for good. Okay. And then I'll actually just click full width and let's take a look at what that looks like. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So as you can see, it's a button, but it looks more like a banner, um, but it's still something that somebody could click on. And then uh, if you put your hop link in there, um, they could still go to the video sales page. So that's another really good thing that you could put on here to just kind of draw attention. As someone is scrolling through here, the first thing your eyes kind of get drawn to is this image and then this uh, banner with the headline, learn how to get rid of the problem that they are facing. And then if we scroll back up to the top, um, there's one line of copy down here, but let's come back to that in just a second. I wanna just redo or reformat this headline. So the first thing we can do is kind of come in here and maybe just bold this. I think that looks good. And then we'll just change the color here to be on theme with the rest of the page. And then we'll actually just take this entire line of copy and just bring it down just a little bit. It's a little bit big currently. And then what we could do too, um, actually that's a little bit too small. Let's go ahead and bring that up just a little bit. Let's try 48, I like 48. So this is kind of optional. What you could do is you could add a watch now um, kind of CTA here if you wanted to. These are more popular, I think, on to add that in there is a little bit more popular on a like a video pre-sale page. Um, so that's an optional step. If you wanted to, you can add it. If not, I think you're totally fine. Um, and then if scrolling back to the bottom here, this last line. Um, I just want to emphasize again, if you are this type of person, you should watch this video. So um, we have this line that says important. If you ever wanted to get rid of pain point one or pain point two or pain point three, this special video is for you. And basically all we're trying to do is we're just trying to qualify people and make them feel that this presentation is special for them. So um, again, we know that the main problem that Cortexi, the ClickBank product that we are promoting solves is um, tinnitus, ringing in your ears, and brain fog or memory loss. So your pain points that you could replace this copy with could be important. If you've ever wanted to get rid of brain fog, uh, mental fatigue, tinnitus, uh, ringing in your ears, this special video is for you. Um, and this is a great opportunity too to highlight this and then you can actually just add a link and then this is another opportunity for you to put your hop link in. And so that's just one last little kind of uh, last ditch effort, uh, last cherry on top to try and get people to say, hey, 
If you have this problem, this video is gonna solve it. Please go and watch this video because at the end of the day, that's all this landing page is trying to do. All this advertorial is trying to do is try to get them to go watch the video where the sales page can do the selling and sell a Cortexi, the product. All right, guys, so just to recap one more time, um, this is called an advertorial page. Uh, this is what we would create for email traffic or one style of page that we would create for email traffic. And um, again, I know I've emphasized it a lot, but this is the most important thing. You're writing the content for the people who um, would be, that has the problems that your product is trying to solve and you're trying to drive curiosity throughout the entire thing in order to get them to go and watch the video. And so that's what we're doing all the way through here. And we have strong, strong CTAs um, and opportunities for people to click through all throughout this page. So as I mentioned, uh, for this video, we were using Accelerator. Accelerator is ClickBank's landing page and Funnel Builder, plus so many other things. If you guys are interested in learning more about Accelerator or you're interested in getting templates already done in your account that you can kind of just change copy, change images, and have your affiliate pages ready to go, I highly recommend you check out the link in the description uh, to learn more about Accelerator. So if you guys have any questions about landing pages or about this video, or there's any landing page videos in particular that you wanna see in the future, go ahead and drop a comment below this video. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one.